Okay, it's now uh, 1 p.m. Uh, welcome to um, uh, this Institute for Quantitative Biomedicine uh, Fall 2021 virtual crash course entitled Celebrating Protein Data Bank Contributions from Rutgers University Structural Biologists. I'm Stephen Burley and I have the, um, the pleasure and uh, privilege of directing both the RCSB Protein Data Bank uh, and the Institute. Um, I'm going to make a few introductory remarks about the PDB and then uh, say something about the impact that we're having, um, concluding with um, some comments about, about AlphaFold, which I hope will be both uh, timely and of interest to, uh, to all of you. Uh, as you know, we're here celebrating the 50th anniversary of the PDB established in 1971. Helen Berman Longtime Rutgers faculty member was one of the, the co-founders of this uh, first open access digital data resource in all of biology. Uh, it's grown to become the single global archive for protein and DNA and RNA experimental uh, structures at the atomic level. And we're now providing open access to more than 183,000 structures as of this week. Historically, the PDB was largely the responsibility of uh, the US government financially, uh, but this has changed. Uh, and the uh, archive is now managed jointly by data centers in the US, uh, Europe and Japan, and other members of the Worldwide Protein Data Bank collaboration include the uh, EM Data Bank and uh, Biomag ResBank. We are fair fact and trust compliant and accredited by the, uh, the core trust seal. The US funded RCSB Protein Data Bank is the US uh, data center that operates within the Worldwide Protein Data Bank. It was established in 99 using the nucleic acids database uh, framework, which was um, uh, developed uh, here at Rutgers by, uh, by Helen Berman and others. Uh, RCSB PDB implemented the data standard that's now used for the PDB known as PDBX MMSIF, which was developed here at Rutgers by uh, John Westbrook. I'll say a little bit more about him in a few moments. Um, Helen uh, was a key player in founding the WWPDB partnership in 2003. And we now collaborate with these uh, worldwide protein data bank partners to support more than 50,000 data depositors worldwide. We also support millions of data consumers worldwide with our uh, research focused rcsb.org website and Nick coming coming close to a million educators and students worldwide with our pdb101.rcsb.org educational and outreach website. We're funded jointly by NSF, various NIH institutes and the Department of Energy and are hosted by uh, Rutgers and UC San Diego and, and also UCSF. And we're very grateful to those institutions for uh, supporting us. We're equally grateful to the community which has been particularly influential in establishing validation standards for PDB structures determined using uh, X-ray, NMR, 3D EM. And more recently, um, we've been working with the small angle scattering community and also the integrative hybrid methods uh, community. And I want to um, call out in particular here, the contributions that have been made by Guy Montelione. Uh, in co-chairing the NMR Validation Task Force for many years and uh, moving that, uh, uh, that science uh, and validation of NMR structures forward. Rutgers has been uh, very generous in helping us celebrate the, uh, the PDB as has the state of New Jersey. There was an article in Rutgers today, uh, last week, uh, to actually mark the, uh, the official uh, birthday, which was the 20th of October. A, uh, an announcement regarding PDB-50 was read into the congressional record by the Honorable Frank Pallone Jr., uh, a member of the House of Representatives for the state of New Jersey. And you can see here the dedication of the college and triple helix structure in front of uh, the Institute building uh, by the former president, uh, Barchi. Here's Helen Berman and myself uh, looking a little bit younger back in 2014 when this picture was, uh, was taken. A very sad note occurred during uh, the week that we were celebrating the, uh, the 50th birthday of the PDB. Our longtime colleague uh, and valued partner, John Westbrook, passed away suddenly. Uh, this is uh, John here. 
uh, at um, the dedication of the uh, PDB labs uh, in the Doolittle building, which is no more. It's been replaced by the chemistry building. And here's Helen. And some of you will remember, uh, will recognize Zhu Kang Feng, which I think is uh, is standing right here. Um, that was 1999. Uh, 20 years later, we had reached 150,000 structures. Uh, some of us had gray hair, uh, myself and Helen included. Uh, here's uh, here's John, and we um, uh, we mourn his uh, his passing, and uh, uh, we'll be uh, working to help ensure that we continue to realize the vision that he had for uh, the PDB uh, that uh, he and Helen worked so hard on together uh, those uh, beginning those many, many years ago. Structural biology at Rutgers has been a force and uh, we've done a little accounting here and you'll be pleased to know that between uh, non-structural genomics contributions coming from individual labs here at Rutgers and contributions coming from NESG and NYSGRC, NYSGXRC, uh, structural genomics uh, programs, we can claim credit as an organization, um, the individuals in this organization and the organization itself for approximately 1.5% of PDB depositions to date. That's a whopping 2,725 out of the 183,584. And they've come from across uh, Rutgers, uh, including um, uh, both uh, uh, the New Brunswick campus, uh, Piscataway campus, and, uh, and uh, Newark, of course. Uh, some of you may not be aware of this, but I did want to advertise the fact that the Institute building houses both uh, 3D EM and NMR tools, uh, on the cryo EMET facilities under the direction of Dr. Jason Kaelber and the macromolecular NMR facility is under the direction of Dr. Seho Kim. And we're uh, very, very happy to be supporting these uh, two university core facilities in the, um, uh, on the ground floor of, uh, of the building. The uh, crash course today will uh, take place in two sessions with a, a break beginning at 2.45 and the speakers uh, list for the first session is, uh, is shown here. And now I'm going to uh, say something about the impact of the Protein Data Bank at 50 years of age. <laughs> 